Hi, I'm Thomas Mueller. I'm from Los Angeles, and I brought the great ball contraptions. I brought this tower with a it's a six foot tall tower with a conveyor belt, and then about a ten foot long slide, which was very challenging to build because after about six feet, it started sagging. So adding the last four feet uh, was the most difficult part. And I also brought this arch, which is four feet tall and six feet wide, where the balls go up on the right-hand side, and then they roll down on the left-hand side. And you just want to tell us how this works a little bit here, like this, this one you're standing under? Sure. Uh, so the balls, uh, it's pretty much a huge gold bug machine. So the goal is to take these small soccer balls and basketballs and move them in a circle all day long from one machine to another. And there are about 10 builders. We have over 30 different modules in this setup. And they fall into this hopper and then they get caught in between these pins, go up the conveyor belt, and then gravity takes over. And the clickety-clack you hear uh, breaks when the balls roll down so they don't gain too much speed and hop out of the next uh, module at the bottom. And then the next module is a spinning drum, which then takes it into uh, the next one and so on. This, this one right here, the balls come up and around and drop out one at a time. And they fall into here and are swept up in groups a layer at a time. They come into this module which pumps them a group at a time into this module. And this module allows them to flow down and then they come up this conveyor and when they get to the top of the conveyor they can go two ways. And the ones that come this way circle back down and go around again. And the ones that come up this side come down out here and go on down and then exit this module. And from there they go into this small wheel which picks them up, brings them over. And as this get, reaches to the top, there's a point where it flips and it drops the, drops the balls down into the next module. From there, this brings them up and they can ride in parallel very slowly and they get dumped and they're brought down as a trail. And the next, at the Ferris wheel, they're, they're dropped uh, one at a time onto uh, a little, the carrier and the carrier brings it all the way around and, and this, this Ferris wheel can hold up to 60 balls at once. And once they come all the way around hanging on the carrier, the balls get dropped off by this bar that, that tips it and drops the balls off and they roll out and onto the next module. This next module is basically just a platform that goes up and down and allows them to uh, roll into the platform and then roll out of the platform. And the next one is a, a, a counter, which uses two NXTs uh, and a light sensor to detect the presence of a ball. And here comes a couple of balls so we can see it go. And it, it, at the same time, it ejects the ball. It adds one to the counter. From this module, it goes into a module that's uh, purely pneumatic. It has a motor running a compressor and a, a sequenced pneumatic that take, take the balls from one scoop to the next, and the next scoop dumps it into the next module. This is a nice, pretty, mesmerizing spiral. Don't look at it too long. The balls come up and uh, get dumped to the next module. This next module is a ball pump. Uh, it's uh, borrowed from uh, uh, Philippe, which Philo, as we call him. He's our hero. Uh, this is a Philo design, which um, a ball goes in and drops into the pump and gets pumped to the next module. The next module has a conveyor which drops it into a, a ball shooter, which shoots the balls out the back here. You can't really see the mechanism. Had it had to be built really strong, and it shoots them most of the time into the <laughs> into here. And they follow a complicated path down the plinko and around the back and on to the next module. Hang on, this is 
tired, huh? And then the next module is a very slow cycling ramp that rises up uh, to dump the balls in little batches to the next module, which is a, a conveyor which has a built-in little bump to kind of keep jams from happening. And now I will turn it over to other people who really know, can answer better as to what happened. Okay, thank you. And Brian can take over and explain your module. Okay, hi, Brian Alano from IndyLug. This is uh, just a conveyor belt module. Obviously, it's just loading them up. The light sensor is counting module, counting balls as they go through. We're at uh, 21 balls per minute since we started. Or since about an hour ago. Just a uh, conveyor down into a pump module. It's actually pumping them up from the bottom. So there's a stack of balls all the way up to here. They load into this cloud. Feed down one at a time. Rain down onto the earth and onto the ocean area. Here they just roll off the hill. Here they feed off of a wave, uh, which goes in a, a four cycle pattern. It looks really slow, but it actually, because it's wide, can handle the entire, the, the, the rate that we're going. Uh, and this module here is not mine, but it's uh, obviously, uh, as the scoop comes down, it pushes down on the hopper, which loads the bucket, flips over and unloads into Harrison's module yeah. here. So my module here, it starts, the balls will come into here, it's a 10 by 10 area. And then there's a motor back here which powers, it powers this treadmill right here which will feed the balls up into this table. And then there's a work, there's a gear on the bottom that has a pin attached to it so that it moves the table up and down. So when the balls come through, it'll move them back and forth and there's different holes. And underneath the table there's a, a tray to catch the balls as it comes through. And then it'll roll them into the next module here which is just, there's a plate that's on top of a, a, a beam, and that beam's pushing this piece up here, up and down, to make, move, make the balls move, and that moves in the next machine. And then in this machine, the balls come down in through here, they land in here, and then you have this uh, motor which uh, turns this gear, which, uh, worm gear, and then it, it, in this direction, it push, pulls the balls up and over, and then it, on the other direction, it comes down over here, and, uh, turns this. And then the next module, we have uh, the balls come down in, and then we have two sets of reducing the uh, power of the motor, which leads up into the next one. So, in this machine right here, we have this hammer, which will, this arm, which will take the balls up in the front, and it'll come back over, and then push them into this machine. In here, I believe, we have a, it goes up a conveyor belt that's powered by all these gears over here. And there's a little arch right here, which will put some of the, make some of the balls move on to the next machine. And there's also this Ferris wheel, I believe, right here, that'll put the other ones back down into the enter point, entry point, and they'll start all, all over again. And this machine's similar like a couple other ones we've seen before. There's a beam that'll push this plate up and down and let the balls move on. And this machine here, we have, underneath we have some gears that where there's some pins attached which will move this bridge up and down so it'll let the balls collect into here. And then it'll help push them up and then push them in the next machine. And here's another conveyor belt machine, except for there's some axle pieces in, so I guess it can carry a couple more balls. And push them into this machine, which there is a gear at the bottom and then there's this tube that winds all the way up. It's a simple fashioned Archimedes screw invented a long time ago in the, with the Greeks. And then, so then when it comes up here, there's a little thing that makes it, that the balls will travel across. And this machine right here, where we have uh, a, a whole fancy mechanism, which will push the balls, spin them around. And this machine, where we have them all collect, and then a, one at a time, this mechanism right here will push them up into each of these modules, which has a which are spring powered, and then there's a gear inside that'll make the spring click every time, and then they're timed so that the ball, this ball, the ball on top will move first to make space for the next one coming up, and so eventually, when the balls reach the top, it'll roll down, and then there's a collection point, which is movable. So if we're at a convention and we don't have a different space than what we require, we can move this back and forth so it's easier to make traveling from one location to another. And to this machine invented by Thomas.
is your machine? Can you want to explain? Yes. Uh, so it goes into the hopper, and then the conveyor belt picks up the balls, takes them up beyond the tipping point, and then they roll down, and there's stoppers on alternating sides. So it makes the clickety clack sound, and then they hit the ramp and fall into the dozer pad where kids have the remote control and they move around the dozer which it's similar to a snow plow it will just collect the balls and they try to push it into the co left corner which is a ball pump that lifts it up so you can see uh, one of the kids right now is steering the dozer and trying to push the balls on the side and get them in the corner.